did you learn from that? And, and what did you learn in a fight that you can't learn in training? I learned being taken down by Thompson like he did, being grounded upon it like he did. I learned how to tell myself no matter what happens, nothing is going to hurt me. And it was a mind over matter, 100% mind over matter. The matter was a, was a bad situation. It looked bad, but my mind told me in that situation that everything is all right. I'm going to be fine. Nothing he's going to do is going to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? You guys, you know, not you guys, but everyone else was probably under the impression that, the, you know, the fight could have went another way. But mentally, I knew I was all right. You know, so that's why I had to give everyone the thumbs up because I knew mentally I was fine. And as far as cardio and conditioning, is it better for an athlete to actually go through what you did and, and, and have to come back? Because it, it was, a, you know. My advice to all the athletes, man, stop smoking, man. If you guys are professional athletes, put that blunt down until your season or your shit is over with. You know what I'm saying? And then when you do smoking, the, 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 uh, you know, I, I had to put that shit down. You know what I'm saying? And, and to really, to really convert over as a professional athlete, and that's some serious talk. Okay, we're going to take a couple more questions because I got to go smoke a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple more questions, and then we'll say thank you, and then right. everything we've been through in your life. What scares you? Um, me, I scared me. <laughs> you know, because um, at times I could find myself being a little bit unpredictable, but then I got to come back to my senses and figure out what I got going on. But, you know, it, it's, it's a mental struggle. It's a mental fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, like a guy like myself, coming, grew up the way I grew up, coming off the streets at every, any given time, you know, in a disrespectful situation, I could find myself still popping off. But I have to really mentally deep, deep in and say, look, man, you know, you got a bigger picture here. You know, you got to look at the big picture here. You know, and, you know, like I said, if it wasn't for my having the right guys around me, the right team around me, you know, at any given time, I could pop off. You know what I'm saying? But I, again, I got to dig deep. I got to dig deep. Okay, look, we got time for one or two more only. And we have a question to ask now, please. What's your contract status with the elite? Oh. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> One thing, Jimbo, how's it been training with Boss? Say it again? How's it been training with Boss? I love training with Boss, man. Again, I, I got two trainers, Boss and Randy. You know, you can't leave Randy out. That's my guy, man. Randy has turned my turned my, my punching into into something serious. You know what I'm saying? I know how to control my shit now. You know, I, I know how to turn a punch over. I know how to I could I could I could probably break a spleen, rupture a liver. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, haven't been able to get to that point yet, but Skyler, it's going to happen. I'll be your liver up for you. Yeah, let's get a quick demonstration here. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Rogers called you out of the last fight. No thought of taking him on? Who? Rick Rogers. Who? <laughs> Robin Big's friend. They're good. <laughs> Any more questions? Thank you all. Okay.